Hey, Assalamu alaikum. Friday test, so I'm wearing shalwar kameez. Perhaps for the first time uh, ever since I started recording these videos. To begin with, I apologize for a little delay in coming up with this new video because I was extremely busy with traveling and uh, some, some uh, business and the other correlated activities. Uh, so therefore I could not record a video but now since I'm in office for the next five days I'm going to record the rest of the videos. Uh, I, I think we are only left with uh, four videos to cover the basic freelancing and then the most important thing which everyone wants to know we will start recording the Urdu version and I promise it is going to be very fast. Faster than the English version. Today's topic is and it is the most important topic because a lot of people have been asking me to come up uh, with this video and send them the templates I use for the freelancing. So today video is about how to bid on the projects, the template, canned responses, no canned responses, what should, what should you write when you uh, respond to a project placement, what should you consider when you send a proposal, what should you ignore when you send a project proposal. So today video covers everything you want to know about how to respond to a project placement. Now this video is only valid for those, those freelancers who work on Upwork, who work on freelancer.com, who work on guru.com, not for the Fiverr uh, folks because on Fiverr of course you post the services and people buy your services. So we are only covering here how to build on the project. Now assumingly you get a project there are many ways you can respond to the project. You can go at length and write a novel <laughs> in your response which definitely there's no rocket science needed no one is going to read that. You can keep it very short again that doesn't serve the purpose because you are not able to explain what value you can uh, provide to the project uh, or, or, or the employer. Then the third and the most important is the moderate one, the balanced approach, which is neither too long, neither too short, and then you cover everything employer wants to know, and that is that killer template proposal I, I've been using uh, in my freelancing career. By the way, you can download that template on the left hand side on beingguru.com in a word document. There are a couple of scenarios uh, which uh, I have proposed. They work for me. I hope they work for you as well. Uh, you can rep you know, replace the XSX amount with your content and inshallah you'll be able to make a breakthrough uh, with your bids. Now, if I take this liberty to cover how I uh, respond to the projects. It all starts with the basic salutations, the greetings and, and everything. Hello, hi, greetings and everything. Uh, then you actually introduce yourself, who you are, what you have done, uh, what are your uh, skills, what are your capabilities, what are you expert in. And then you move on to uh, a very tricky part which most of the freelancers ignore and that is to repeat the client's requirement. Now, this sounds crazy but it is very important because clients definitely want to know if you have read their project placement correctly. So therefore, you would be advised to you know, uh, restate what they have requested in their, uh, in their bill uh, proposal. And then you come down to your portfolio. Remember we have covered that portfolio part in detail. Rem always remember that at the end of the portfolio you should always post a link of your video. You should always post a link of your references, your testimonies because they give you a massive mileage and they go in a long way in, uh, in completion uh, of, of uh, your objective which is to get notice and then have employer contact you for that project because remember when the employer contacts you for a project it means half of the job is done now now it gets down to your communication skills your ability to convince your employer that uh, why you are the right cho choice for the project so after the uh, proposal uh, portfolio section you get down to the uh, free offer. We have also covered that in detail in our previous videos. A free offer could be 
uh, a, a markup, uh, which is an initiative from your end to see uh, if employer is interested and employer can, uh, you know, uh, check you how capable you are and go perhaps move forward with you. And then you get down to the last part, which is, you know, closing the uh, bit, which is regards and everything. Most of the freelance marketplaces allow you to give your contact information. For example, I use Guru a lot. They allow me to use my contact information. So therefore, I give maximum information about myself, starting with my name, my designation and organization, my website address, moving down to my email address, my Skype ID, my LinkedIn uh, URL. Uh, at times, I take liberty to uh, give my Facebook link as well because my Facebook profile is public. I mean, uh, there's nothing private about it. So, and, and then this, this takes me to another important point, which is being original because originality gives you a lot of uh, uh, mileage in, uh, in, in, in getting noticed. So that's uh, all about bidding. You can download the proposal template. There are certain scenarios I put in the Word document. I hope you use them and I hope you, you, you know, uh, uh, get a good response from your employers. I owe you a live setting as well. It's been two weeks uh, since we had uh, the live session. So uh, hopefully this week, since I'm back in town and I'm in office, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to uh, connect over the weekend. I will let everyone know in advance. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to the next video. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.